now we can create this like uh, different or interesting floor plates by controlling these sliders, right? But then we need sort of a sort of a limit or limits. Let's say we will have a square meter limit. So if I grab a scribble and then say square meter limit. And then we can grab a slider which is called 2000 square meters per uh, this function, which means our retail function. And then we can have sort of a height, right? Because we'll be building the floor plates. So I can say with a scribble again, floor height. And I don't know, let's put five for this. We can always increase this, right? Decrease this, so let's say this, or this, or this. And we have our body line. So if I grab an area here, this is the area that I'll be having. And based on the area, I can define how many floors I'll be having, right? So now if I grab a panel here, I can say this is my area and if I divide my area, sorry, if I divide my square meter limit to this area, it will give me a result of how many floors I would have. So let's say, say if I grab a series here, right, and if I, my floor height is going to be my step. My count is going to be my result from this division. And then if I grab a move component here, I can move my polylines on Z direction, right? With this. And if I grab this and if I calculate their areas, obviously it's not going to give us a complete result. Uh, we are not working super sensitive here, but let's see. Mass addition. And now we are having this. And you know what we are going to have. So if I lock this all and cap this, right? And if I preview this with a different color, such as swatch, such as white, sorry, not swatch. And I can pay, take everything and preview them off. Maybe just a bit of this. And I don't want to see any points, right? So I can take out the area component. This can remain here. So the good thing about this is, so you see, fluoride is 8, so I can diminish this one, okay? As I diminish that one, I still have the same square meters because now I can, when I decrease this, I increase the number of floors, in a sense, right? But if I move this, you see, I add a floor, I take out a floor, and so on and so forth. So these are kind of the setup that we are having here. Or basically what we can do if you don't want to deal with all these stuff, you can say, okay, just uh, we can, what we can say is just multiply this value, this one with this one, and then just use a Z factor here. And then, uh, Okay, what uh, what is this doing? Or just extrude this, you know. It's again completely up to you. You can extrude this or you can use the same thing. So extrusion, cap, cap this. And you know what's going to happen when we change this. We'll see that the height is going up or down, up or down, up or down alongside with this one. So if you connect this, you'll see the same thing. Uh, why we don't see the same thing? Oh, because we have to provide this as well. Okay, so again, like it's completely up to you. Let's 
continue with the series version okay because it adds the floor plates as well so we're closer to it to a building kind of a sketch here so i can group this and that is like that is i can delete this but you see we are already over the limit so one thing we can do here if we are over the limit we can cut this off but again like we are not doing that uh sensitive calculations here so i can take this off i can wire display this hidden okay and then what i can do now is to uh go to the next phase where we are going to start building our next portion of this uh tower 